saw that this was basically the apparatus that they were using to feed the shark. Correct. Explain well, it a little bit. Okay, pretty much what it is. In, in the aquarium industry, as most hobbyists and everybody know, we, we invent a lot of our own tools. So we needed to figure out a way to feed a 250 pound, six foot animal underwater that has a lot more leverage than we have and has some teeth. You can see the scratch marks on there. Those are all teeth marks, all those, those scratches. Yeah, those are all teeth marks. Even though they're not pointed teeth, they're, they're ground down teeth. Um, so we had to figure a way to get the animal food safely and these animals feed on lobster most of the time. So what this ends up happening is underwater, the diver holds this against their chest and so, yours is more black. So obviously the, the animal can't see it. Can't see the target. Okay, and, and yours has been remarkered up or repainted recently, so it's right. a lot more black. Most of the divers wear all black, so what they end up happening is they cover. This is no, don't come near me. Now there's food already in there. Because there's food already in here, up, okay? right. So this is no, don't come near me. And then the animal, I'll be in my position and I'll watch the animal. When the animal makes the moves I want it to make, I'll present the target, flip the target, okay, present it. The animal will come to the target and then will plunge her in the food. That basically just pushes it into their mouth or allows them to grab Correct. it. Correct. And now I don't have to do that. The animals actually can create enough suction with water to suck the lobster right out. Everything has to be non-corrosive. Can't put any metals in the water because the sharks don't like it, nor is it, you know, it would wear down over time in the salt water. Not a good thing for us to put in water. So we have to find materials that work. Now, what's really neat and people think that's pretty cool is this is where your hand is, right? And you can see this one's been cleaned up again. But these are all the misses. Oh, <laughs> yeah. We don't like misses. So all these are the misses that have come through. And you can see there's a nice ring around here where there's no, no hits. Now we wear gloves and everything when we go in there too. So it's a, good, it's a good target. You know, it protects me and it protects the animal. Sometimes, sometimes if, they, if we miss a target, we have a, a feeder that's novice or, or just has a bad day or the animal's not working. They'll grab the target and try it. And, we, and that way you just let the target go. They'll drop it. I don't want to be in the water when a shark's having a bad day. Jeff, many of our viewers have a 55, 100 gallon tank. You've got about how many gallons under one roof here? Just about a million gallons. And this noise behind us, this is all coming from the what, the shark tank? Yep, that's it. It's just the life support system for the shark tank. So the shark tank being a 385,000 gallon system, and this one big section basically takes care of that whole tank. Correct, it, it takes care of all the mechanical filtration, the chemical filtration, the biological filtration for the shark tank. 2,800 so, to 4,000 gallons a minute, depending on loading. 2,800 to 4,000 gallons a minute. Wow. So we've got this one in the shark tank. We've got the Amazon and a bunch of other tanks. Big protein skimmers. I think we should go take a look. Okay, let's go. Jeff, one of the pieces for a reef aquarium that many of these hobbyists have really followed and tried to improve upon are protein skimmers. Mm -hmm. Your typical protein skimmer can be anywhere from 8 to 10 to 12 to 24 inches high cylinder-like. What a protein skimmer is for people that don't know is that it basically works like the foam out of an ocean, doesn't it? Yeah, it's, it, it takes the flow and the currents and moves it and remo removes dissolved organics and different things from the water, yep. So we've got a protein skimmer for the home aquarium that can be three, four feet at the absolute most, and you have a reef system here, how big? Uh, we have one that's 5,000 gallons. 5,000 gallons. So for that 5,000 gallon reef system, how big are your protein skimmers? Eight feet. Eight feet. And you have more than one? Two. So you have two. So you have 16 feet of protein skimmer. Yep. So we talked about eight foot skimmers and 16 foot. This is two of them right here. I say, yeah, they're about 12 foot. 12 foot. I see three though. Right. Again, redundancy. These are ozone injected as well. So they're not just using air, they're actually using ozone. They're much more uh, efficient than just an air run skimmer. And we dump all about, these move about 300 gallons a minute each. So turn over your big hobby tank every minute in each one of these vessels. It's all about contact time. 300 gallons. 300 gallons a minute. Cordon is your trusted source for premium aquarium products. Amquel Plus eliminates ammonia and nitrates. Novaqua Plus removes heavy metals and chlorine while adding a protective slime coating, vitamins, and electrolytes. And Ick Attack controls Ick and is reef friendly. Visit Cordon.com to check out the entire line of products. Cordon, trusted solutions since 1961. All right, Frank, you're going to need these for the next part of what we're going to do. What are we going to do? Uh, we're actually going to go in and feed some penguins. Is it cold? A little bit. You don't About get the, 38 you don't, degrees. You don't have the penguins from like the Bahamas? 
<laughs> you know, I knew there was a reason why Jeff gave me this rather pungent jacket. <laughs> uh, we are here, where are we, Jeff? I mean, it's cold, it's like 86 outside, and I got a bunch of tuxedo buddies here. Where'd, yep. you, where'd you bring me? We're actually in our, our Kingdom of Penguins exhibit, and uh, during one of our, our public feeds, and uh, Deborah right now is feeding the Gen 2 penguins in the water. What is she feeding them? Um, a mixture. She, right now she has krill and looks like lake smelt and, and silver sides. There you go. So the guys are in the water. It's, it's much more uh, natural behavior for them to uh, feed in the water. That's how they would do it in the wild. So she, she gives them that, that little treat. Um, they can get up to 25 miles an hour in the water. 25 so. miles an hour in the water. Yeah. Wow. Their wings are like wet rulers, man. They, they, they can propel themselves pretty crazy. They can spy hop, they can jump out of the water. Now, probably the only thing that would keep me here longer than I really need to be because of the cold is these guys have their own slushy machine, right? Yeah, they do have a slushy machine. We make them snow. Um, Deborah makes it, you know, and slides around the exhibit. I mean, they, this is, this is just, this is just ice chips, basically, right? Right. And they, they use it, they actually use it to drink, too. They, can, they have a, a salt gland in their body that they can actually drink seawater, which is what they're swimming in, salt water, and they can take the salt out of the water. But this is much easier. They also use it to cool down. Believe it or not, this might be too warm for them sometimes. Yeah, so they, use, they, they, lay, they lay down in it. So what is it, like every holiday they get a flavored icy or a flavored <laughs> shaving? Is that yeah, what it is? The yellow ones stay away from the yellow, yellow ones. Yeah, never eat yellow. Right. I don't have to go down that road. <laughs> <laughs> now, the guys behind us with the gorgeous yellow color around their neck, they are... They're king penguins. There's actually three penguins. species in here. There's Gen 2s, which are about, uh, get to be about 12 pounds and about 30 inches, which are these guys that uh, Deborah's been feeding the, with the white and the orange beaks. Then you have the chin straps, which get to be uh, about 27 inches and nine pounds. They're, they have like the line underneath them. And then you have the kings, which are the second largest penguin in the world. And they, have, well, they're the, they are the most colorful though. And the kings get to be 36 to 40 inches tall. So we'll see if they, if they feed for her or not. Looks like they might. Also, they'll feed right from their hand. That's awesome. Yep, and you can see, I mean, it's amazing. If their tongues are like a, a, a brush inside. They actually help force the fish down. They swallow this fish whole. I mean, look at the little guy taking a, that fish. Watch. Ding, wow. ding, ding, ding. Gone. And they actually, their neck, if you look like, it looks like they're crouched down being cold or whatever. But actually, they are crouched down. Their neck can actually get pretty tall. So they're basically, that, that's like a neck extension, really, yeah. to eat the fish. Right. You know, it's ironic, us being in here, because it's, it's like the people, the customers, the fans of the aquarium are looking at the penguins. Yep. The penguins are looking outside the glass, basically, at the customer. Yeah, keeping everybody, everybody's getting their own little uh, enrichment today. The public's getting enriched by the penguins, and the penguins are getting enriched by the public. But they're a little standoffish because we're here. They're a little standoffish because we're here. They're used to people being out there, keeping their distance. But in here, it's usually just one or maybe two people, not four of us. Well, you know, I think we should let them eat because my knees are starting to shake. I'm starting to look like a penguin. What do you say <laughs> we get out of here? Okay, we'll get out of here. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you, Deborah. <laughs> Jeff, Newport Aquarium has been fantastic, man. Thanks for having us. I really oh, well, appreciate I got it. one more thing for you. You know, you, we've been we've been hanging out here. Oh, so penguins. Nice. I'll feed them. Well, I haven't fed penguins. That's I, awesome. I'm not really um, gonna have you feed today. What we're gonna do is, you know, we've been here for a while, and I, I need you to help me out with something, Andy. Uh, you want me to, I, want I, me to I pet you, him or something? I, I, I know you, you got you got some more other things to do. We need some help today, right? Yeah. yeah. So he needs a lot of help. So, um. So if you could just keep this clean for us, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna go and I need Andy's help with something. You mean scrub the floor? Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Thanks for doing that. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Are you kidding me? I. You know what? I knew as a catch. I saw your brothers in the other room. Hey, do me a favor. While you guys are here, don't do nothing. Okay? Seriously. Keep it inside. To learn more about the show or to email us, go to bluezootv.com.